question is an application one. Wow, it looks very long, very complicated, but the math is actually very simple. You just need to figure out what's happening. So this is on page 13, if you want to do that on your handout. I'm going to say, I'll make it compulsory. Pause the video. Please pause the video and try to solve it out. Don't give in quite yet if you're not sure how to do it. Uh, I mean, you can check the answer. Lah. Of course, it's online. Now pause it, try it out, and then only come back here and see if you can't figure out what to do with it. Okay? Pause it. Okay, so first thing to note, you read through the question, a spindle is attached to a liver and a disc. So the spindle is basically this, on the right side, this yellow bar right there, I coloured it yellow for you. So your spindle is going to rotate thanks to a lever on top, like a helicopter, someone's going to crank it. And at the bottom, it's a disc trying to turn it. Hmm... What is the force needed to lift the weight? So you can't imagine what's happening here. What happens if you turn that lever on top? It's kind of like a bicycle bar when you're turning your bicycle. If you rotate in the right direction, you're going to lift, you're going to pull the string and cause the block to rise. Whew, okay, first things first. This little block down here, 900 newtons okay so there's going to be a tension in the string that will hold up the block means there is also a tension trying to pull the disc okay so for the disc alone if i redraw the disc is the disc i'm looking for the top down view now there is a string tension that's trying to make it rotate that way because there's a heavy block on one end and this T equals to the weight of the block. This is the minimum. Okay. So, if we already have that tension, we need to overcome it. So this string tension is going to cause an anti-clockwise torque. We need to overcome that. So we need to apply a clockwise torque on the top part. Which is why you see them putting the arrows there, F and F. Okay. F this way and F the other way. Because, I repeat again, the disc at the bottom wants to rotate clock anti-clockwise. Draw the things nicely. But you have to counter that with the thing on top. Okay, minimum force so you can start lifting the weight. So let's let's do this. If you want to find what that is, we have to look at the disc and the 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 the, the, the lever on top. So let's do it this way. Clockwise torque or moment should equal the anti-clockwise moment. Where's the clockwise moment coming from? That's coming from the lever on top. Lever. Lever? Lever. Then the anti-clockwise is coming from the disc because of that heavy weight. Okay, anti-clockwise and clockwise, you'll learn your rotations. So now we write out everything. What do we get? Clockwise swap from the top. You can shortcut since they are top of a couple. Shortcut a bit. Just say the torque is force times the distance between the couple. So 1.2 meters. We want to find what the force is. If you want to do the longer method by finding individual forces, also can. Just a bit more to write. Nah. Then from the disc, what is happening? Ah, we look at the mini picture that we draw here. What is the torque? from that block. So we have tension times, how far is it from this, the pivot? Let's draw a dotted line. So that one is the radius of a circle, which is given to us 0 0.2 meters. Okay, so 0 0.2 meters. And we know tension equals to the weight down there, at least, because if tension equals to weight, then it won't drop. If tension is more than the weight, then it will start to go up. Okay, so we want at least equal. La. So tension equals to weight. Let's plug in 900 newtons there. And we have a force of 1.2. So use your calculator to find what the force is. 
you have 900 times 0 0.2 divided by 1.2. That's 150 newtons. Okay, so that is the minimum you need to apply to the lever to even lift it. If you apply less than that, it's not going to work. The block's going to just pull everything down. So just a quick recap on uh, tension in strings. I'll make a side note here. Okay, if your weight is the same as the tension, this is kind of like the skydiving, falling from the sky thing. If tension equals to weight, the block's not moving, so acceleration is zero. If you want to lift the block, your tension has to be stronger than the weight. So tension stronger than weight, then you have some acceleration upwards because the block will move up. Okay, and that is what we want here. We want to lift the block. So we need to find the minimum, uh, minimum torque to exert so that at least it won't fall down. You can slowly get it to go up. Okay, so that's the pulley torque question for this case.